Aloha guys, this is Scuba Chris. You know, Mustad, for many years, I always thought they were a company for hooks, only hooks. And, and until I started dealing with Mustad, I realized they're a terminal company. They have everything. I mean, not everything, but quite a bit of everything from pliers to knives to gloves to um, all sorts of plugging and popping lure materials, inc including the lures. You're starting to get into lures as well as jigs and, and other type of uh, fishing terminal gear. So let me run down a list of what I currently have and I'll show you what I'm using. This is just one of my Mustad containers. This thing's mostly full of hooks. You got some split rings. For, um, you got um, hooks for all different styles from live baiting, in trailers, split rings. You got everything from pliers to knives, gloves. Um, separators for your lures, all sorts of type of hooks. Hooks is what I always thought was the main thing, but you know, it goes beyond it. Everything from sabiki rigs all the way down the line. It's just fantastic with the stuff they have. Okay, starting off with um, body accessories, they have this beautiful pack right here. This is a dry bag. It's good for shoreline as well as by boat. The zipper here is for this compartment right here. So, you know, you can put your, your wallet, your um, keys for your car, things like that in it. This pocket here accesses the inside. See that access the inside, which is right here a lot of room in this thing I haven't had the chance to use this one yet but it's called a dry backpack okay nicely padded in the back and I have belly pouch nice belly pouch here this is the must add dry gear belly pouch and I stuck this in there. Gloves. It's always nice to have gloves. And it does come with shoulder harness. So that's pretty cool. Hey, one of my favorite terminal gear, pliers. I got about, I think maybe six or seven of these. And I noticed that the heavy duty ones, they will say kaiju, you know, like uh, monsters, Godzilla, things like that, the kaiju, the more heavy duty ones. And these over here are called feather lights. But I have a bunch of these and I love these things. And they have everything in the back. In instructions over here, it tells you they have to, virtually everything from split ring tips down to um, crimping. So trust me, these are good. I'm using two of them right now and I'm just gonna keep these until I'm ready to use these. All right, I've got several of these. Ah, these are fillet knives. Always great to have good fillet knives. And these are the really good ones. They have, they're Teflon coated. So I, I, I have one right now. I keep it in my bucket in my utility cart. And there's no need to open all the others I have. I'm just gonna use the one I have for now. But if I'm forced to um, get a bigger fish or just too lazy to come home and clean the fish at home, I'll clean it on site and I'll use one of their knives. Like I said, it's Teflon coated, it's pretty good. You know, if you're into jigging and plugging, if it's by boat or from the shoreline, you, you gotta have these. these are stainless steel forged split rings i i got that's all i can hold right now uh, these are the, the loose ones i have a bunch more um these are the ones i use the most so i'm always over there putting on my jigging assist hooks i'm putting on some double hooks you gotta have these you really gotta have these and the mustache ones are so good i never had a hook break or bend out nor have i had a split ring pull out yet Okay, split rings, besides for the um, hooks you're gonna use, these are jig assist hooks. So instead of um, going with your doubles, um, you can also use jig assists. 
You can use these on jigs as, as well as your um, your favorite uh, surface poppers. Um, I, I like the green. That's like a more the green. The blue is okay too, but I like the green. For me, that's my favorite. Everybody has their favorite, right? You know, Mustad has such a great size range. I mean, from re some really good size big hooks for live baiting down to the smaller hooks that I can use for catching my bait. Now, if you want to catch live bait from shore or the boat, can't beat sabiki rigs. Sabiki rigs are the number one for catching baits. It's already rigged up. You don't have to do anything. I just love using the sabikis. I use this from the shoreline, and I catch just about everything from sergeant majors down to line to almost any type of grass. Great way to catch your live bait. You know, for what I do, I have so much stuff, so much tools for Mustad. I have everything. Um, when I start crimping, I got my crimper. Um, I have a fish scale. So, you know, my favorites are these, the ultra points. The ultra points are good because, it, you know, you can use this like six, eight times and you don't have to throw the hook away. The, the tip is still sharp. Some of the cheaper types, you would have to throw it away, but not this type. And I, I like these, the ring. See that? These are ring. It has a ring on it. So what happens is that if you use a live bait, or even a dead bait, but a live bait, it will present itself. So if the hook is, say, like this, the bait's going to be like that. Also, it's going to be struggling. But when you got a ring here, it, it goes back and forth with the fish. The fish uh, maintains its... Uh, uh, vert, vert, um, it's natural response to predators as well as swimming in the water more naturally. You cannot beat the ring ones. For, so for me, using light bait, I like the rings. And I, I'm just stuck on the ultra points. Literally stuck on the ultra points. So that's it's just a quick synopsis of what I use. Um, and I was getting bored because with this pandemic going on, I just want to, um, instead of answering everybody, this is a great way of just putting a quick video showing what I prefer to use. Thanks.